This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. It's going to be a fantastic venue. Um, great partnership, great energy and synergy. Two apartment complexes are set to open in the coming weeks at Victorian Square with even more down the line. And that is our big story at 530. And this project is really what Sparks officials have wanted for, for years now. And what they're doing is they're combining housing and retail space all into one. I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Kristen Revington. Thanks for keeping it here with us tonight. And that area could have as many as 1,500 housing units just within the next three to five years. Paul Nelson is live at Victorian Square for us. And Paul, it sounds like there are a number of big changes to expect. There's a lot happening down here, Kristen, that's for sure. The Fountain House opened just last summer, and as you can see, there's still a lot more happening. That was just the beginning. A huge chunk of Victorian Square is being filled in, giving people more options to live, eat, and shop. The Fountain House Mixed Use is the next property to open, and it should be ready starting next week. It has 16 executive flats on the second floor and retail space on the ground. 500 people are on an interest list. The Bridges uh, is expected to open at the end of July with nearly 200 apartments. Construction's already underway on the deco above the C Street garage, and crews will break ground on the atrium in October. We plan parking, we plan access. Uh, we, we're, you know, we really expect it to be more walkable on weekends and such. So yeah, we, we're trying to fit it all together. It's, it's like a big puzzle, but it's, uh, it's definitely coming together. As for the old Bourbon Square building, that's set for demolition. Nugget officials say they're still studying the infrastructure before they tear it down starting next year. They're still figuring out what will take its place. We have lots of different configurations we've looked at and lots of different things, but um, it's going to be something cool. And of course, the old Century Theater downtown, that closed almost two years ago. That's set to reopen as a Galaxy Theaters in the coming months. We'll have an update on that coming up at 6.30. Covering the Big Story Live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.